dollars because it does uh, you know, increase the service of the debt. So for those countries that have not edged, uh, there is a consequence attached to the uh, appreciation of the dollar. Yeah. Unless they're pegged to the dollar, which of course would help. In a moment, we'll be discussing some of these concerns. But first, let's just take a look at how much some countries have borrowed over the past few years. Kenya has borrowed $2 billion to pay government expenses, among other things. Ghana has borrowed $1.7 billion also to pay government expenses and capital investment. Zambia has borrowed $1.75 billion to invest in transport and energy infrastructure. Meanwhile, Mozambique has borrowed $850 million for their national fishing industry, but instead spent the money on military equipment. And Tanzania borrowed $600 million for reasons not publicly disclosed. Well, with me I have Judith Tyson from the Overseas Development Institute and she's the author of that recent research about Africa's sovereign bonds. Well, thanks for coming on and joining you, me. Tell me, how did we get to this situation? How did it get so bad? Well, of course, all uh, governments uh, need to borrow debt and, in fact, it's uh, particularly important for uh, developing economies uh, because they need capital to support economic growth. Uh, but what we're seeing in, in Africa today is two uh, particular problems. One is the sheer level of debt relative to the size of, of, of economies and secondly is um, the use of uh, funds are, are on occasions questionable. Um, so we've seen um, uh, some particularly smaller poor countries simply over borrowing. Uh, some of the countries are uh, the Senegal, uh, Senegal uh, Seychelles or the, the Gabon um, but we've also seen mixed uh, use of funds by some governments. Uh, many are using it for responsible purposes so for example for uh, investment in uh, infrastructure that's uh, energy, uh, transport or water systems and those sort of uh, uh, uses of the funds will help uh, accelerate economic growth but we're also seeing uh, some countries using funds irresponsibly and this is very concerning and I think you mentioned a couple of examples where for, uh, uh, Mozambique for example have spent it on military equipment um, uh, Ghana has spent it on uh, government salaries and this type of, uh, of spending is very concerning but of course some of these governments would say look there's been unforeseen circumstances nobody could have foreseen how sharply oil prices would to drop when we borrowed this money we thought we'd have enough to pay it back that's certainly true and in Africa today we're seeing a much more challenging economic environment than we did even a year ago uh, two big factors one is um, the change in commodity prices particularly oil and copper uh, and secondly the slowdown in China but of course where we see that ch those changes in the economy it's important that governments respond rapidly in terms of their debt level do you think they should have foreseen it so for example if you were taking out a, a mortgage for example you'd plan for the worst case scenario well of course no one has a crystal ball uh, when it comes to economics, but moderation and prudence uh, in uh, government debt levels would, al would always allow you uh, a space to respond to these kind of events. I mean, uh, just briefly, there's been so much hope over the past few years in Africa, African countries, uh, economies growing, better governance. It seems like we're in this situation again where the youth are going to end up paying the debts of their parents. Well, you know, Africa's seen a decade of fantastic um, improvements in its economy, both in terms of growth but also stability. Um, and millions have been pulled out of poverty into the middle classes. Uh, the reason that we're, we're uh, raising um, these risks today is that if there was a financial crisis, all of those gains could be lost. Um, and as we've seen in Europe and in the United States, uh, a financial crisis isn't just an economic problem but also a human problem, particularly the level of youth unemployment, 50% for nearly seven years in countries like Greece and Spain. Spain. It would be a tragedy if that, these mistakes were repeated in Africa. Okay, thanks very much for joining us.